What is going on today? I hope you guys are having another good day. I'm back with y'all with another video. Uh, real quick, right off the bat, if you've been watching the videos and you've been enjoying them, please give me that thumbs up because you know I love it so much. Thank you guys for joining the channel. I'm going to be bringing y'all another video today. What we're going to be doing is a pretty interesting install. I'm going to see how it would work on my truck. Um, this is a under $50 uh, installation slash mod that you can do to your truck. And in all honesty, I think a lot, like 90% of us would enjoy this. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to kick it off. I'm going to show you guys what, we're, what we have, what we're doing, and we're going to go from there, okay? On a side note, if anybody's interested, uh, we I did do some things to the Impala. Uh, if you stick around to the end of the video, I will definitely go walk around and show you everything I've done to the Impala since the last video, okay? And also, one more thing I gotta say is thank you guys so much for the feedback and the uh, input on the last video. You guys really seem to be receptive and really, you guys seem to really like the Impala. Uh, I feel good knowing that because that way when I make videos in the future, I know that you guys will be interested in watching them and you're not just going to be like, uh, oh, I'll skip this video, you know what I'm saying? So once again, thank you guys so much. So first thing off the bat, excuse the mess in the bed of the truck. I got to go uh, to the, I got to throw all this stuff out. This is all trash. All right. So I took the stuff out of the box just because I wanted to kind of go over it uh, myself and see what all I was getting. But what we have here is something called a beach lane pickup tailgate ladder uh, what this is pretty much is on the side of your tailgate it's a ladder as you can see right here and it folds here uh, when you need to use it it folds over and it comes down okay uh, I don't know exactly how it's gonna work with the whole this right here and whatnot uh, when I get to that point or when I figure that out you guys are obviously gonna be able to see but it's a pretty simple straightforward installation um, so I'm checking the instructions and it comes with instructions and it comes with a lifetime warranty which is pretty cool so from the instructions it looks like you mount the plate to your tailgate it comes with included self tapping screws so you will need a drill uh, you mount the plate there once you mount the plate you hook up the arms once you hook the arms up you add the, the lower section of the arms after that it look, that looks like it it looks like you just attach the straps and you're done so it's windy out here, it's blowing all, around, all over the place. So that's really it, super simple. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this installed. Um, I'm not gonna do step by step because you guys are gonna see me on the time lapse and it really does not look like that hard of an installation to give you all the supplies needed except the three things you'll need, which is a drill, a 5 16 uh, socket, and a 3 8 socket, or a 10 mil wrench, 8 mil wrench, or nut driver, sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's get this started and we are gonna go from here, okay? Alright you guys, so this is a super simple, extremely simple uh, job to do. I'm talking, I had a phone call, if you guys can't tell I was on the phone during the time lapse when I was mounting the plate, and you get so much extra hardware, they have it, they, this will work if you have a plastic liner in your truck bed, if it's not even covered, if you have a liner like I do, it'll work for all of them. Uh, this plate, this is all super solid, like self-tapping screws oh my goodness so easy now we have one two, two one, we really have one hiccup and it's not really a hiccup so it's my trucks because my truck is lifted if this was a stock truck we would have no problem with this ladder being able to touch the ground but because i have the five inch lift on the truck it lifts it up a, quite a bit so right now this right here is the bottom the lowest hole so you can see here there's holes here this is the lowest hole for this ladder setup but what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark i'm going to mark it where it's at when it touches the ground like that all right so notice how now it's touching the ground well almost touching the ground all right right there 
do I want to do it there? Yeah. So I'm going to mark it. I'm just going to get a little tap, tap the hole or, you know, tap it, mark it and take it off, drill a hole through it. So that way we can run those bolts through it. But I'm already starting to like how this is going to work out. Um, super, super cool. Okay. It's a little, I got to work out the kinks in terms of how it sits. But this right here, it's super convenient because now when I'm washing the truck, or when I want to get in the bed, I don't have to sit there and drop the tailgate or step on the tires. You know what I'm saying? Put my foot on the on it. That's mainly why that hitch is there because I use that to step into the truck, so on the bed. So this right here for what you're paying for it, I think this is going to be clutch, especially nowadays with the way all of the new trucks are coming, like transformers where the tailgate can collapse. So the other the other slight thing we ran into, I'm not going to say it's an issue, is that. When it's time to fold it, so this is made to where when you don't want to use it, it folds over your tailgate. Now I have two options. One option, I can take this off or I can take it out of here, relocate it, but that's a lot of work. Option two, I can just, anytime I want to fold it, unhook this J-pin or this C, this C hook right here, unhook it, fold it and hook it back in. Option two sounds a lot easier. It takes 10 seconds and I still get, you know, what I want out of it. So that's where we're at. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead Redrill it, redrill some holes down there, and then we're gonna go ahead and test this ladder out. All right, you guys, I went ahead and did what I, exactly what I said. Uh, I moved the hole down, drilled it out, uh, and now she's leveled, or now she's here. Biggest thing is you, when you set it up, you wanna make sure your feet are both on the ground, and then also your angle. It tells you in the instructions, you, don't, you want about a 15 degree tilt, which is pretty much what this is right here. If you're curious what that looks like on paper, it's talking about that. Notice how it has that can't, that can't go into it. You don't want it straight up. Also, you want these, you want those parallel with the ground, okay? Now, those aren't parallel to the ground 100%, but I did the best I could, obviously. I don't really care. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna step up on it. Wish me luck. So I am going to go ahead and consider this a successful buy. Um, this is pretty cool. Now we're not done yet. We got to do one more thing and we have to set it up so that way if we want to fold it, we can. Okay. So like I said, I'm just going to disconnect this. That way I can clear this, swing it over, layer down, and it comes with this cool ass, it comes with this nice little strap and we're good. Okay. All right, you guys, this is it done. This is what it would look like if. I didn't want it out and it's folded up against the tailgate and we'll close the tailgate right now so that way everybody can see what it looks like when it's closed so if I want I got the strap here so all I did was it, you get you uh, use two more of the tap screws tap them in tap tap tippity tap tap them in make sure I don't spill my beer one second go ahead give her a close and now she is closed. Nothing wrong with the tailgate. The tailgate's nice and flush, and we got the ladder strapped back down. So this was a extremely awesome, legit install. Um, I'm gonna drop it and, and I'm gonna break it down again, just cause I'm I love that. That is so cool. It's gonna make getting up here to wash my windows when I'm washing the truck or when I just don't feel like hopping up and all that. It's gonna make it so much easier to set it up and get it down, and extend it. Takes not even 30 seconds. So. I'm go ahead and drop her back real quick all right you guys so i went ahead that is all done you can kind of, oh the sun's in my eye you can kind of see it right there on the tailgate but i think that's a pretty cool mod less than 50 bucks i think exactly it was like 47 dollars from change uh i really like it oh fly just flew dead into my face ah okay anyways yes uh i like it though it's cool you know it's gonna help out you know down the road and stuff because it, it you guys know with lifted trucks it can be annoying getting in and out of the truck in and out of the bed and such and such all right so if you stuck it out this far to the end of the video like i said i'll show you guys what i've done to the impala uh just a couple things here and there nothing crazy i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all right you guys so right off the bat uh yesterday i went ahead and got it tinted 
Um, now this is supposed to be a 15% tint, but if you look good at the camera, you can see right through it, uh, or you can see through it and see into the other truck on my truck. Uh, it's not a big deal from far away. You cannot see into it. I think a solution for that is going to be to tint the windshield. I'm probably going to get like a 50% tint and then get a brow up top. And then that's going to help take some of the light out because towards the back, it gets harder to see through it, but still, you know, also, I think I'm going to get the back windshield, either retint it or tint it darker. Um, I talked to the guy. He was, it kind of bugged me a little bit, but he was rushing when he was tinting my car. Why? Because they were closing soon. And instead of just being like, hey, man, this car, it takes a long time to tint. It takes about three hours to tint this car. Instead of just being like, hey, man, can you come back another time? He was like, I could do it. But he told me, he told me he rushed on it, which kind of upset me because there's like, there's like bubbles here. You got stuff here and you got stuff here. So I'm definitely going to be taking it back to him to get the back, this back uh, glass redone. Uh, also, he didn't, he would heat. You have to take out that back piece on the back where the tail light's at because I want it to be cut out around the tail light. Uh, so I definitely will be going back to him to get that addressed and taken care of. So, yeah, but I got, I got, I went ahead and got it tinted. Uh, she's dirty right now. I need to wash her. What else did I do? Oh, inside. Make sure I unlocked her. And I don't have my keys. I went ahead and got uh, a new radio, which is pretty cool. Uh, just a nice little basic Kenwood radio. Uh, it has Bluetooth now, so I don't have to worry about plugging in my aux cord anymore. I went ahead and did that. It's just a basic radio I got from Walmart. I think it was like 80 bucks. But it does the job. It sounds good. And it has Bluetooth with the phone call. You can see the little mic over there I installed. Uh, I did that. And I also went ahead. One second. I got to reach it. There we go. I went ahead and put LED headlights on it. And reverse lights. So for headlights, we got last fit, LED lights. And this right here is by far... The Besides the tent is my favorite mod I've done so far because those blue lights with the paint or not even blue that white light with the paints clash so well. Um, you guys know I use last fit LED bulbs for all of my stuff. So if you guys ever wanted to know where I get my light bulbs from, I, I run the same LED bulbs here as I do in my truck. Uh, you know, no disrespect or no, I'm not talking shit about like other companies, you know, but there are some companies that. Their bulbs are just too much money, you know. I, I can't see myself paying $120 for some LED bulbs. Yes, they probably are the best bulbs on the planet, but I know me and I know my, I know how I am sometimes, and I just can't do that. Uh, I paid 40, 30, 33 dollars for these LED bulbs. They work awesome. Uh, I had to do a little fabricating, very very small. I just had to trim a little piece of plastic to get them in because of the back side of them. Actually, I can show you guys right now in one sec. All right, so. Right here, this little clip, all you gotta do if you wanna take the bulb out is rotate it left counterclockwise and it comes off and then the bulb comes out. On there, I just had to do, clip off a little clip that was in the way and I mean, it's still snug in there, it's not loose. Same thing on this side. The bulbs work amazing, it does a good job. I went ahead and I did a quick wipe down of the engine bay. Uh, I used some Adams VRT vinyl rubber and trim just to kinda give it a nice little sheen on it, get some of that, du that dust off of it. I did also add and I have it over here. I added some uh, Lucas transmission fix. I now you don't need this. This is not for broken transmissions. Uh, I run this in almost all of my transmissions just as a preventative maintenance. Since I've been in high school, this stuff works good for me. Uh, I also did a sea foam treatment on it. I went ahead and did sea foam, ran it through the intake metal or the throttle valve. I gotta get used to saying that now because I'm not used to saying that. <laughs> Ran it through the throttle valve, cleaned out the engine. I mean, barely any smoke came out. If you guys don't know about Seafoam, check it out. It's really good stuff for cleaning, uh, just cleaning your engines, man. I mean, you can, you can use it on anything. You can use it on lawnmowers, in, you know, gasoline engines, diesel engines. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I highly suggest you guys check out Seafoam. They make good stuff. Um, something else, what else we do? I'll show you guys real quick. We did the LED reverse bulb. All right, so you can see back here, I went ahead and put the car in reverse. I got the LED bulbs in the back. Also, these are last fit bulbs. Uh, this car is actually really easy to change out the tail light bulbs. It, take, it took like 10 minutes on both sides. Um, but I got those in because one of them were out. 
that one was out and it had the ugly halogen one so it gives it a nice crisp you know clean but yet still retro look which I like so so that is gonna be it you guys uh, that's really all that uh, I did to the car you guys saw what we just put on the tailgate let me know how you feel about both of them uh, I'm really curious if you guys would like if you think this was a good investment or a good mod um, and this is cool because you can put this on any tailgate any pickup truck it's not just a diesel thing only you know what I'm saying I will have a link down below for the ladder uh, that I got off of Amazon so when you guys are interested to look at it or anything like that you'll be able to click the link check it out and all that so we're gonna go ahead and end this video out I gotta go to the hardware store pick up a couple things and I'm um, until next time <laughs> all right so thank you guys so much for watching until next time y'all take it easy be safe please if you stuck out to the end of the video please hit that smash button smash that like button also hit the subscribe button I appreciate it I love you all. Take care. Peace.